Welcome to the Microsoft 365 Business Technical Fundamentals series. This video will cover Windows Autopilot, a new way to deploy Windows 10 to end-user devices. Windows Autopilot is a cloud-based service that allows OEM-provided device IDs or harvest IDs from existing devices to be uploaded and have a configuration policy ass assigned by the IT admin. What this means is that when the end user receives the device, they can just self-deploy using their work credentials. And so by work credentials, we mean either their Azure Active Directory credentials, uh, or if they're still using on-prem Active Directory and they're synchronizing, this could also be their on-prem credentials as well. There are a number of different ways that you can manage Windows Autopilot, but the recommendation for most Microsoft 365 environments to begin with is to use the Microsoft 365 Business Admin Center. Then over time, as you start requiring some of the additional capability that Autopilot does actually include, you can jump into the Microsoft uh, Intune blade in the Azure portal, and that will start lighting up additional functionality. Now there are some other areas such as the Partner Center and the Microsoft Store for Business where you can also do uh, some configuration, but realistically for most scenarios the first two are probably going to be the ones that you'll end up using. An example of what you can configure via Intune that isn't in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center is the ability to prevent the user from accessing the device's desktop until it's fully configured with all of the required applications and settings installed and configured. So you can also see here that we've got the ability to control the behavior with timeouts, error messages and recovery options so that if something does go wrong during the deployment process, we can actually go through and do some troubleshooting so that we've got some better information after the fact to ensure that it doesn't happen again. Let's switch to a machine that's going through the autopilot process so that you can see some of the things that can be achieved. What we start here is the out-of-box experience where we can select the language, we select the keyboard, it asks us if we want a second keyboard, in this case we'll just accept the defaults. And as we go through, it has to go through, just make sure that it's got you know, the latest files that it needs to continue with setup. So obviously we do need an internet connection for this work because it is a cloud-based service. So here's where it's just checking to see if there's anything it needs, so um, just some of the latest Windows updates that may be required to ensure a smooth setup process. And what you'll find as we go through this is, you know, I've cut some sections for time. So here, what it's asking for is our, our work credentials. So I type in my work credentials, then it will pass, uh, prompt me for my work password. You can see here that it's automatically got a customized sign-in screen. So any kind of customized text, etc., that we've got, our customized images and logos will also appear here. Now this is one of the additional customizations I showed you in the presentation where we've got the ability to go through and actually prevent the user from going onto the desktop until everything is configured. But in this case I've actually given the user an option. Um, so if I clicked on continue anywhere here that would actually just sort of kick me back into where the machine currently was. Um, but if we really want to make sure that we've got the system locked down and the apps are ready to go we can just go through and you know basically prevent that continue anyway and just give it an option to have a, a continue button that pops up when we do get everything fully configured. So as we go through now everything's configured because it's going through and enrolling in hello it's going to ask us for a pin and it will also go through and register the device, uh, you know, part of the registration process is ensuring that we've got multi-factor authentication enabled. So in this case it's reaching out and it's contacting my phone through the multi-factor authenticator uh, app from Microsoft and then it's coming back in uh, to the environment uh, asking me for that pin that it told me it was just going to require. So we could go through and we might want to set a four digit pin policy, we might want to set a six digit pin, it's really up to you to determine what's there. Now once I click on OK, it takes me to a desktop where you can see that there's already a few customizations in place. Because I've got Enterprise State Roaming enabled, the user's customized desktop image appears. You'll see that there are some apps coming down from the, uh, the store for business. Uh, but what you'll also notice though is that I'd customized the start menu layout already. So I've gone through and configured that with an XML file and if you're curious how I've done that, if you take a look at the uh, ad advanced Windows 10 administration, I've got that in there. Now what I'm showing you here is that 
I don't have admin rights as this user. So one of the other things we can configure through autopilot is whether we want the user to have local admins or right. And what we've what I've done now is just done a quick chop here so that we've actually gone through to, you know, several minutes in uh, where Office is now installed. It populated those empty tiles, which are effectively placeholders. But now when we take a look at Word, Word's installed. If you take a look at the top right hand side, you'll see that it's signed in using my account automatically. So you're starting to see some of the single sign on features. But now if we jump in and we take a look at the account details, what you'll see in here is that it will tell us that it's uh, yeah, Microsoft Office 365 business and it's telling us what's there. It's telling us that it's up to date. And if we want to go through and do additional configurations, uh, we can do those from here. But that's just really a quick run through of you know, some of the types of things we can do in an autopilot environment. But there's a lot more to that because we've got the full power of Intune. So there are a lot of additional settings. Autopilot provides a great end user self-service capability when it comes to device deployment, ensuring that, ensuring that the device is configured appropriately for that user and ready to use within a short period of time.